begin to cock your wrist, you're actually making the club feel lighter in your hand, and that sometimes is helpful. But um, how do you, for instance, start your backswing? Sure. And then uh, how do you think about literally setting your wrists at the top? Absolutely. Well, this is actually a drill that I do when I'm warming up. Uh, I try to think of my backswing the same no matter what club I have in my bag. So when I'm warming up, whether it's with a wedge or a seven iron, I'm making the same part of my backswing even though I'm going to make a shorter swing. So if I'm first warming up, I'm going to make like a waist high. Waist high sort of swing. And the first part of my backswing is right here, not using my wrists. And the second part of that swing, once I'm adequately warmed up, I'm going to go ahead and make that same waist high swing with just a simple wrist hitch. And that completes my backswing. So I go waist high, up. timing's off, or, you know, they might do a little bit of hinging off the ball. I try not to. I think the more quiet I can keep my wrists and my club through the hitting area, the more square it's going to be through it. And how do you know where you are at the top? In other words, how do you know when you completed your backswing? How far is too far? Right. <laughs> well, if you watched my video from a couple weeks ago, my half swing looks pretty darn full. Yeah, right. Having said that, um, there's a point when if you make your backswing too far, going to lift you up out of your posture. All of a sudden then you're going to have to manipulate yourself back down. So the ideal backswing is going to vary person to person. Based on their flexibility. Exactly. I'm a big preacher of less is more. Um, we look at some of the best players on tour, they don't take, they take it back to parallel and they can still hit it a mile. J.B. Holmes, perfect example. Right. Um, so for me, I want to make a backswing that's going to allow me to set my wrists but not affect my posture. Well, well, without taking you out. If that makes sense. So okay. I mean, let's see if I can do an example of that where I keep it nice and short. used to have you pull, take the, I, I bring up Jack a lot, but he used to literally take his club off the ground so that he wouldn't, uh, so he wouldn't rest on it. Sometimes you see guys rest on their club. I, yeah. Well, I'm just saying, is, yeah, they, right. they lean on it, but uh, that's twice I saw you grab a little bit of surf as you're taking well, it back. You've been before yelling at me about this, so I'm trying <laughs> to take it back a little shallower. Right, we're going to hit one. 